So this is a new series I'm developing where I'm going to be either pitting two products against one another or two settings against one another to see which gives the best performance for gaming. So this is 120 hertz. It's going to have frame latency. It's going to have various tests and I hope you guys enjoy it. So today, first off, we're going to have the NIC to the router to the modem versus the NIC straight to the modem. And we're going to see if it makes a difference. Now today I am using a relatively cheap uh, router. It's a $50 router and we're going to see if it makes a difference. So let's get on to the results. So jumping straight into the results, we have on the left here no router with the speed test and on the right here another speed test with the router. So head to head, the pings is, I want you guys to pay attention to the pings here because we managed to get zero milliseconds and that's no lie, that's no bullshit. We got zero milliseconds with no router and three milliseconds with the router. So I'm going to give the pings or the fastest pings to no router, uh, simply plugging your NIC straight into the modem. And, you know, three milliseconds isn't much, but it is still a slight edge to the no router. Now, it's important to note that the download speeds were also sig uh, significant. I'm going to say significantly faster. And the upload speeds could be ever so slightly put down to variance um, due to this being done first, this test being done with no router first. So I'm going to give the edge to, on the, on the pings, I'm going to give the edge to no router. Let's move on now to the results in the frame latency tests. Okay, so moving on to the frame latency tests now, we see that with no router, this was done on Black Ops 2 with 80 second runs across six different maps. And I just did as, you know, as made it as sort of action packed as possible. And also did this with low settings on the GPU and the graphics, no shadows and 120 hertz with vertical sync enabled because I wanted to get the smoothest frame times without putting stress on the GPU or the CPU. And now I want, because I wanted to see how, you know, the internet, uh, playing in an internet environment affected the variables of no router versus router. So we see here no router on the six tests we did here. The maximum frame latency that we recorded was 19 milliseconds. And the second worst below that was two 13 millisecond response times. So I thought actually four 13 millisecond response times. But I thought overall it did pretty well. As we see in this frame here, router number three, it just performed really solid in that first, I guess, 30 second batch and then after that did a little little micro stutter so I thought it performed really well the no router and it's actually no coincidence so let's contrast this to the re results with the router and I just think that it's no coincidence that the no router uh, versus the router the router scored uh, the highest frame here was 22 milliseconds which is exactly 3 milliseconds above no router and especially with my tests that I did with speed test it was three milliseconds slower as well so I think overall I'm going to conclude that the router gives you a three millisecond delay uh, in some instances where internet data is needed to I guess process the game uh, or process the next you know frame in the game so uh, that's all I can think of I mean I'd have to do more tests or definitely do a lot more tests with this because it is, you know, it's, I'm opening up a new world of testing here, but I think that the, ultimately I think that the no router is just ever so slightly better. And in conclusion, I'm going to say that it doesn't really make that much of a difference, honestly. Like for the average gamer, uh, you guys aren't going to notice this difference. However, I'm going to say though, if you're a really competitive gamer, especially a competitive FPS gamer, then three milliseconds could technically matter. And if it's the difference between you getting second place or first place, then, you know, that's that slight competitive edge. Anyway, guys, I'm really interested to test on the next uh, episode. I'm going to be testing the NIC, onboard NIC, versus the external uh, PCI Express NIC from Intel. So I'm going to be pegging these head-to-head. -head. I'm also going to be testing the um, real tech, uh, sorry, no, the killer NIC software and does that make any difference so I look forward to seeing you guys next week and if you enjoyed this uh, please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can anyway guys peace out for now brand easy bye